Wrestling Showdown Entertainment. This is Wednesday Night Clash. And let me first start off by apologizing. I have not been here in a good long while. I am back in college. I've been trying to take care of uh, at least trying to get a degree. But I'm back with it. I'm back with uh, WSE for a little bit. Well, I plan on staying with it for forever, but I'm just saying right now because I'm not sure what the future has in mind. But a big thank you. But let me just start over. Welcome to Wrestling Showdown Entertainment. This is Wednesday Night Clash. And a big thank you to our sponsor, Why We Watch Wrestling. He is also the co-owner of a real-life wrestling company located in Sheffield, England. And it is called Feelings of Fighting. Uh, look it up on Instagram. And also you can follow his YouTube channel down, uh, down the description below. Without further ado, let's get started with our first match of the evening. And here we are with our first match, making his way to the ring. Our power ranking champion, our new power ranking champion, Mitchell Odin. And he's looking to compete against the former power ranking champion, Flying X. What the world? Sandre Blanco's got a chair. He's coming after Odin. These two are rivals. I know it's been a long time since I recorded. But yeah, Blanco and Odin are both rivals right now. They've been competing on Friday Night Frenzy against each other. And it looks like Blanco's looking to do some damage. Maybe not. Odin's not happy. He's going to try to take care of Blanco real quick. But Blanco looking to throw Odin down the ramp, down onto the floor. Nice move right there by Blanco as he continues to do more damage right there onto Odin. He sets Odin back up. But Odin taking some control, throwing Blanco into the ring. And here we go. Odin already having this in the ring, but Blanco going to throw Odin into the ropes. Messing up on his maneuver right there, but still taking some control with a nice backbreaker. I don't understand why Blanco just didn't keep the chair the entire time. Like, that would have just been a useful weapon for this, but oh well. There we go. Odin, he's fighting back. He's putting in a lot of effort trying to make sure... He beats Blanco here for at least trying to disrupt this match. Apparently Blanco ended up winning, don't understand, but let's move on to our next match. And here we are with our second match. It is a singles competition. And making her way to the ring, the former Butterfly Women's Champion, Rebecca Kelly. Rebecca Kelly is 9-7 right now with wins and loss. She's hoping to pick up a win here tonight. That way she can go against our, but our new Butterfly Women's Champion, Rose Hernandez. Rebecca hasn't been too happy since she lost her title to Kayla Tice a few weeks ago, but she's looking for revenge and she's going to hope she can get it from Rose. So we got to see how Rebecca does in this match. And if you haven't noticed, Rebecca has been on more of an aggressive streak lately, going for the submission hold we've never really seen that much of, and doing an amazing job. And she actually put Michaela Tice out of wrestling for a couple weeks with an injury. So we'll have to see if she'll do the same thing to her opponent here tonight. And here we go, her opponent for this evening. Making her way to the ring, Myung Simone. Now, Myung Simone is 3-5 and five right now. She's hoping to pick up a win here tonight and get an opportunity at the title herself. But she's got to get through one of the Butterfly Women's Champion. If she beats this Butterfly Women's champ former champion, she can go against Michaela Tice and then maybe go against Rose Hernandez. Or maybe she can pull off something amazing that will get her the shot that she deserves. But we'll have to see what happens here tonight if Simone will be able to beat Rebecca Kelly. As you can see, Simone is really excited, really pumped up to compete tonight. I'm ready to see what she is made of, see if she'll be able to beat Rebecca Kelly here tonight. So here we go, Rebecca Kelly versus Myung Simone in three, two, one. And Kelly taking the first lead with a nice snap suplex right there onto Simone, taking her down to the ground. 
Nice stomp right onto the back. Now just choking Simone out. And there's a backbreaker right there by Kelly onto Simone, doing amazing damage. And here we go with another snap suplex. Also, ladies and gentlemen, just to let you know, we will have a triple threat tables match later tonight. And the winner of the match will get a shot at being known as Mr. Cash this Sunday at Cash Slam. We already have all of our Monday Night Mania participants. We just need our Friday Night Frenzy. So we'll see which one of the three will be competing. And Blanco was able to win his way in after the assault he just received. He just did on Mitchell Odin here tonight. So we'll have to see if that plays out in his favor or not. And Kelly still doing an amazing job, able to take Simone down with a nice swoop. And there's the big kick right there, knocking Simone down. And Kelly looking to do a little bit of taunting as Simone tries to drag herself over to the ropes. Kelly missing. Oh, there we go. Simone doing an amazing job. There's a nice missile drop kick to the head. And slamming Kelly's hand down to the ground. Simone doing a good job taking some control now in this match. Here we go, throwing Simone, Kelly taking control, throwing Simone in the corner, missing that attack. And here we go, Kelly looking for a tornado DDT right there onto Simone. And now throwing Simone over the ropes, here comes Kelly going after him. They're going to take the fight to the outside of the ring. Kelly looking to do some damage. Trying to drag Simone back over to the ring, but Simone able to fight out, doing some damage on Kelly now. And a nice drop kick right there onto Kelly. And there's a nice neck breaker. Simone doing a good job taking some control now. As she gets Rebecca Kelly back up, and throw your back into the ring. A huge punch right there, but not good enough. Kelly throws her own punch, knocking Simone all the way into the corner. There's the kick and a stomp, and now choking her out with her knee. Here we go, Kelly's got Simone back up. And looking to throw Simone out of the ring once again. What does Kelly have planned here? Why does she keep throwing Simone out of the ring? And Simone just fights out once again. I'm not sure what Kelly's trying to do, but whatever it is, it's not working. Simone keeps fighting out. Trying to build up some some momentum. Rebecca Kelly back up, throwing Simone back to the ring. Simone getting up. There's a nice reversal by Simone. And here we go. Simone's got what she needs. Nice little booty pop right there onto Kelly. Nice scoop slam right there by Simone. Able to take some control, and here we go. She's going top rope now. And a diving moonsault right there on to Kelly. One, two, three. Young Simone pulls off the win here tonight, gaining her fourth win. While Rebecca Kelly gains. For eighth loss. 
So Simone is one step closer to living her dream and becoming a champion here tonight. And Kelly's got still a long way to go and she wants to try to get that belt once again. But as you can see from all the replays, Simone did a good job. Kelly was trying to do something, but it just wasn't working out. Simone just kept taking control the entire time. But here's your winner, Miyong Simone. Let's go ahead and move on to our next match. And here we are with our third match this evening, and it is singles competition once again. And making his way to the ring, the emo kid, Ty Po. And Ty Po is looking to pick up a win here tonight. He is four and one. Very upset about finally at uh, being finally losing to Zach Harden last week. So he's looking on taking out as many people as he can to redeem himself and get a shot at whatever title he chooses. But as you can see, Typo looks ready to go with his ominous and mischievous look. Sinister, that's a good word right there as well. So it'll be very exciting to see how he does here tonight, if he'll be able to pull off the win or if he will fail once again. Typo is a really good wrestler. He knows how to work his way around the ring. So it's gonna be kind of a tough, it's gonna be kind of a tough battle for whoever his opponent is this evening. And here we go. Making his way to the ring, his opponent for this evening. Ryan Lowe. Ryan Lowe looks excited to be back here, ready to compete here on WSC Wednesday Night Clash. He is 3-7 and seven with wins and loss, taking a few losses the past couple weeks to William Ross and a lot of the other super heavyweights. So we'll have to see if he'll finally be able to pick up a win here tonight against Ty Poe, someone who's actually in his weight division as a cruiserweight. As you can see, Lowe's excited. He's ready to compete here tonight. And he's a very good technical wrestler. It's gonna take a good bit to try to get Lowe down as well. And Lowe's one of those, he's very surprising. You don't know what he's gonna do when it happens. He might pull off a win out of nowhere. But here we go, Ty Poe versus Brian Lowe in three, two, one. And Lowe looking like he's gonna take control right off the bat with a nice knee onto Poe, doing an amazing job. Now slamming the arm down. Very sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen, I had you on. Nice little uppercut right there. Doing a good job taking some control on to Poe. As Poe's now trying to get up, but Brian Lowe stops that from happening. And a nice stomp right there onto the elbow of Poe. Nice elbow right to the face. And Lowe looking to go up top. And calling for Poe to get up. Nice body splash right there. I'm not sure what Lowe is doing. Maybe just taunting in a way. But missing the kick. Pose back up. Not very happy. He's going to take some control here. With a nice Frankensteiner. And a nice spin around leg drop. And Poe's going to throw Lowe right into the ropes. Messing up on the maneuver, and Lowe's going to take control and throw Poe into the corner. And setting Poe on the top rope now. And here we go. We're looking for a superplex right here. Doing amazing amount of damage right there onto Poe. And now going back for the arm with some nice elbows. <laughs> There's a stomp right to the face. And 
Here we go. Low looking for the pin. One. Not good enough. Poe still able to kick out very easily. And there's a nice kick to the back. And there's a beautiful DDT right there as Low now goes top rope. Looking for the 450 splash. Here's the pin. One, two, three. Brian Lowe picks up the win. And Tai Po gains another loss here tonight. Po gaining his second loss. Well, Brian Lowe gains his fourth win. This was a one-sided match. Something's going on with Poe. Ever since he lost, he just hasn't been himself anymore. I'm not sure what needs to be done to help Poe out to get him a win here tonight. But Brian Lowe just took full control of this match. He did an amazing job. As we can see right there from the... That wasn't a 450, that was a 6.30. Right? Yeah, no, 7.20 splash. That's what it was. My bad. But here's your winner, Brian Lowe. What's going on here? What, what is Harden doing? Harden just went after low, and I don't know why. But Lowe's taking care of Harden. What, what is going on? Is Harden just looking to take out his anger on someone since he lost his match? And lost the chance to be known as Mr. Cash? I think that's what's going on right now. And Lowe's not done yet. He's still looking to do some more damage since Harden was going to attack him. What is going on? Let's go ahead and move on to our next match. And here we go with our next match. It is a triple threat tables match, and the winner will be put in the Cash Slam match, become known as Mr. Cash if they win. Making it the first opponent making his way to the ring, the self proclaimed genius, Mark Bailey. And to let you know, Mark Bailey is 7 and 6 with wins and loss right now. He's hoping to get this opportunity to become Mr. Cash here tonight by winning this tables match. So we'll have to see what happens in it. As you can see, Bailey well, of course, Bailey's just cocky as ever, but this is going to be a very interesting match to see what happens here tonight. Go the second opponent making his way to the ring. The first ever showdown champion, Big Joe Jackson. Now Big Joe Jackson hasn't been doing well in matches. He is two and five, but maybe picking up a win here tonight is what he'll need to be to compete in the Cash Slam match to be known as Mr. Cash. We'll just have to see what happens. Here tonight, if he'll be able to pull off the win or not. Jackson looks ready to go as he enters the ring. Jackson has told me backstage that he's been wanting another opportunity to get that his title back. So we'll have to see if he'll be able to do it or not. It's going to be kind of hard to, with our two-time showdown champion, Joseph Sage, holding on to that belt still. And here we go. The last opponent making his way to the ring, Sangre Blanco. And Sangre Blanco got the opportunity to compete here in this match after attacking 
his rival Mitchell Odin, who was our power ranking champion earlier today, earlier this evening. So I told Blanco if he really wants a shot, he can compete in this triple threat. So we'll have to see how he does. He is 10 and 3 right now with wins and loss. So this might be the opportunity he needs to compete in Cash Slam at in the Cash Slam match. As you can see, a lot of people don't really like him. Some are not, some are cheering, but others are not. As he makes his way to the ring. Blanco did tell me he was very happy after what he did to Odin, thinking that was the right thing for him to do against someone as weak as Odin, as he said. So we'll have to see if, Odin, if Blanco will be able to pick up the win and if Odin might get his revenge very soon. But here we go with our match. Mark Bailey versus Big Joe Jackson versus Sangre Blanco in three, two, one. Bailey and Jackson already going out of the ring, looking to go ahead and Bailey already picking up a table, but Jackson stopping him real fast, throwing Bailey back in the ring and Blanco picks up the table now, going after Jackson. As Jackson picks up his own table, Blanco puts his table in, Jackson puts his table in, Bailey goes out, looks like, and coming right back in. And a nice forearm right there, knocking Big Joe Jackson down. Jackson has to roll out of the ring. Bailey with another table, picking it back up, slapping Big Joe Jackson in the face with it, and now hitting Blanco with it. Bailey, the only one up right now. Of course, Bailey's going to use his brains to try to figure out how to win this match. Beautiful move right there by Bailey onto Blanco. But a nice reversal by Blanco now. And Jackson back up. He's going to take some control. And there's a backbreaker right there onto Blanco. Bailey rolls out of the ring now. But a nice reversal by Blanco taking some control. And the two are just staring each other down as Bailey slowly getting up. Having to watch his head from the table. Here comes Bailey. As he slams Blanco down the ground, there's a punch. And a nice butterfly German suplex. And there's a slap right onto Jackson. Blanco takes the table away from Bailey. And looking to slap Bailey with it now. And now using it to hit Bailey while he's on the ground. And here we go, Blanco going up top. As Bailey starts to get up, Jackson coming back into the ring, barely getting hit, almost getting hit, I mean. And Jackson sitting up the table in the corner while Blanco keeps working on Bailey, but Jackson going to take some control, throwing Blanco into the table. And Blanco with a nice reversal, throwing Jackson into the table now. And a huge slap right there onto Jackson, knocking him down to the ground. Bailey's back up, but Blanco's still taking control. Blanco's doing an amazing job in this match. And there's a whisper in the wind right there onto Bailey. Looking for a stomp right there onto the arm. Here we go. Blanco throwing Jackson back into the table once again. And Blanco showing off his strength, huge power bomb. Jackson is eliminated, and Blanco wins the match. So Blanco will be competing to be known as Mr. Cash this Sunday. So he was able to win the opportunity for this chance. We'll have to see if that opportunity pays off on Friday Night Frenzy and also at Cash Slam. Blanco dominated the match the entire time. Let's go ahead and move on to our next match of the evening. And here we are with our next match. It is a tag team match. Dukes of Wrestling are going against VIW as they are already in the ring and ready to go. The Dukes of Wrestling are ready to compete once again to prove themselves worthy of another shot at the tag team titles. And VIW 
who is about the same with wins and loss as Dukes with Dukes Wrestling are looking for an opportunity at the titles as well. But to let you know, Dukes of Wrestling is 8, 1, and 5 with wins, draws, and loss. And BIW is 8 and 6 with wins and loss right now. So these two teams are pretty equaled out. This should be a really great match to see who's going to pull off the win here tonight. But by the looks of it right now, BIW is taking full control. Victor Collins now tagged in and doing amazing damage onto Elmore with a Russian leg sweep. Here we go, grabbing Elmore by the back of the neck. And throwing him backwards using the ropes. Here we go with a nice arm drag, throwing Elmore over his back. Elmore trying to get over to Adams, Collins just watches and lets it happen. Adams now the legal man with a big boot right there. Nice double axe handle and another big boot by Adams right onto Collins. And here we go, Adams going to the middle rope, calling for Collins to get up. And there's a nice double axe handle once again. And a nice backdrop right there by Adams. Doing an amazing job. And here's the hot tag into Payne. Payne now the legal man. So we have two of the strongest members of each team going up against each other. And Payne using a shoulder block, making Adams go tumbling backwards from that. And a nice knee to the back right on to Adams. And a huge military military press gut buster. Here we go, looking for a power bomb now, doing amazing damage onto Adams. There's a stomp on the arm. And pain doing an amazing job once again and again I'm sorry I'm yawning again it's kind of early plus I'm not feeling good uh, I've had a stomach virus for a few days now so here we go Elmore tagged in here we go misses the move but pain taking control now Here we go with a Northern Light Suplex. We've seen this before. Able to cross over and into the Suplex. Right onto Elmore, doing an amazing job. And now throwing Elmore into the corner. Here we go with some Unicorn Stampede Stomps. Doing amazing damage. Collins comes in. Here comes Payne now coming in. Here we go once again. Collins coming in. Payne going to use a nice Irish whip drop kick with Collins doing the drop kick onto Elmore. And here's the pin on Elmore now. One, two, not good enough. Elmore able to get out. Adams was confident Elmore was able to get out. Didn't even help his own partner whatsoever. Elmore goes to the middle rope. There's a nice elbow drop onto Elmore. He has Elmore by the back of the neck now as he takes him back over to the ropes. Messing up on the move. Elmore's going to take some control now. Nice German suplex onto Collins. And Elmore's pumped up and ready to go now. Here we go with a nice suplex onto Collins. As he stands Collins up. Here we go with the comeback. Elmore pumped up and ready to go. And 
slamming Collins right into the corner turnbuckle. And watching as Collins lays there on the ground, here comes Elmore back at him once again. Throwing Elmore into the corner once again. And a huge spear right there. Looking for the German suplex. I mean, a belly to belly. Here's the pin. One, two, only a two count. Collins able to kick out. And Adams and Payne are fighting inside the ring as well. Adams throwing Payne out of the ring now. Here we go. Elmore looking to finish it here. Ref starts telling Adams to get out. Adams finally getting out of the ring. Here we go. Beautiful neck breaker. As Elmore drags Collins away from the ropes. Here's the pin. One, two, three. The Dukes of Wrestling's pull off the win here tonight against BIW. BIW gains their seventh loss while the Dukes of Wrestling gain their ninth win here tonight. Amazing match performed by both teams here tonight. But the Dukes of Wrestling were able to take control and pull off the win. Elmore doing an amazing job showing why he was a former showdown champion and the Dukes of Wrestling showing why they were a former tag team champions in the process. And there's the finishing move right there that finished it all off. Here's your winners, the Dukes of Wrestling. Let's move on to our main event match. And here we go with our main event match, a fatal four-way elimination match. It's champion versus champion versus champion versus champion. And making his way to the ring, the Galaxy Champion, German dancer Hans Coronado. And Hans Coronado is 8-7 right now with wins and loss. He's been in a rivalry with Red Avenger on Monday Night Mania. And Avenger is putting in the work on Coronado. So Coronado hasn't been very happy about it. But we'll have to see if he might be able to pull off a win here tonight. Like he did last month when he won the Fatal 4-Way Elimination match. By sneaking the win on Joseph Sage and our other two champions at the time. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I think this is going to be a repeat of last month because I believe all four of these guys were all champions. So it's going to be Coronado, Joseph Sage, El Loco Gladiator, and Neil Braxton once again going after each other, trying to prove who is the best. Coronado walks around the ring as he waits for his next opponent to come out. Here we go, the second opponent making his way to the ring. The technical champion, Neil Braxton. And Neil Braxton has been a rivalry with his good friend, Cedric Hawkins. And Braxton is seven and six right now with wins and loss. Hoping to pick up a win and maybe build up his momentum and his streak. That way he can beat Hawkins at Cash Slam. We'll have to wait and see how that's going to work and see if that will happen. Braxton looks like he's ready to go. Some of the fans still cheering for him, but some are now on their seats wondering if he has gone rogue and he has become a villain. I mean, a heel. We'll just have to wait and see. Way to the ring, our third opponent, the heavyweight champion, El Loco Gladiator. Now, Loco Gladiator is 14 and 7. He's hoping to pick up that 15th win here tonight. That way, he can be closer to how Flying X is right now because Flying X is 16, has 16 wins so far. He has the most, Flying X has the most wins in singles competition. So this should be very interesting. See what happens. 
if Gladiator will be able to join X up there as one of the top superstars with many wins. And here we go, the final competitor, the showdown champion, Joseph Sage. And Joseph Sage, oh, and a local Gladiator. All right, so... Just because I just remembered, Neil Braxton, Joseph Sage, and El Loco Gladiator are all two-time champions. They all lost their title, but was able to regain them back soon afterwards. The only one who's not a two-time champion is Coronado, and Coronado has been using the excuse that because he has not been a two-time champion, it's because he is an awesome champion and can't lose his title whatsoever. So we'll have to see if that is true, if he'll be able to win this match or not. And to let you know on Joseph Sage, Joseph Sage is 8-6 with wins and loss. So this should be very interesting. See what happens here tonight. And here we go. Sage going after Braxton. And Coronado taking the match right to Gladiator as he takes control. So we have the Friday Night Frenzy group going after each other. And the Monday Night Mania group going after each other. We have Friday Night Frenzy on the outside of the ring. Sage doing a good job taking care of Braxton. And Coronado, surprisingly, doing a good job taking care of Gladiator. And Coronado goes to the middle rope now. Nice reversal by Braxton onto Sage. And a beautiful missile drop kick by Coronado right there onto Gladiator. And Coronado... Doing a little bit of taunting at the crowd. The crowd doesn't like it whatsoever. I believe out of all four competitors, Coronado is the most hated. Followed by Gladiator, then Braxton, and Sage. Sage, who is now the new baby face of Friday Night Frenzy, becoming the fan favorite very, very quickly. Nice reversal by Braxton. He's taking control. It looks like we have our minor, our minor titles going after the major titles. The singles titles going after the major titles. Better way of putting it. Nice reversal by Sage onto Braxton. And Coronado still putting in a lot of work against Gladiator. And Sage with a nice military press slam as he turns his attention towards Coronado now. Messing up his move, Coronado taking control with a nice spinning kick. Coronado going up top now, but Gladiator stopping that. No, he's not missing it. And there's the diving leg drop. Here's the pin. One, two. Sage able to kick out. And Gladiator taking control with a nice uppercut. And Braxton going back after Sage. Beautiful knee strike right to the head onto Coronado. And a nice knee to the back. And here we go. Submission hold of Cloverleaf by the looks of it. Right onto Coronado. But Coronado able to fight out quickly with a huge punch to the face. And there's a Northern Light suplex. A beautiful forearm springboard by Braxton onto Sage. There's a submission hold right there onto Sage. A nice body splash onto Gladiator. Here's the pin. A dirty pin. One. Not good enough. Braxton has his finisher up and he's ready to use it on Sage. Here we go with the lumbar check. That might be it for Sage. Oh no, it looks like... No, there's a nice... Hits to the legs. And Sage back up. Not happy whatsoever with a nice throwing suplex. And Gladiator with a nice missile drop kick onto Coronado. And Sage with his momentum all built up. He's ready to go. And a beautiful clothesline with a running bulldog. Coronado is still doing an amazing job against Gladiator, but Gladiator throwing him into the ring. Here we go, Sage showing off his athleticism and his flexibility. And 
Gladiator throwing Coronado onto the ropes. Sage doing a little bit of taunting at the crowd. The crowd loves it as Sage goes back after Braxton. But a nice reversal by Braxton. And a nice neck breaker as Gladiator changes his attention right onto Braxton. And throwing Braxton into the corner now. But Braxton able to reverse it, knock Gladiator down, and looking for a, a nice figure four, actually. Will Gladiator tap out? And Gladiator able to fight out of it. Coronado goes after Sage. Now, Monday Night Mania group has taken over. Nice Northern Light suplex by Gladiator onto, Coronado, onto uh, Braxton. And here we go, Sage looking for the butterfly pile driver. There it is, it connects onto Coronado. That might be it. Here's the pin on Coronado. One, two, Coronado able to kick out. And a beautiful drop kick by Gladiator onto Braxton. Here we go. Sage still taking control. Looks like there might be a bit of a team up here as both competitors kick at Coronado. Coronado rolls out of the ring, though. We have both the Showdown and Heavyweight Champion going at each other. Now there's the Showdown Champion in the ring as he goes after Gladiator. Here comes Braxton. Braxton's doing the same thing. Military press gut buster onto Gladiator now. Braxton with a nice chop and a huge punch. Hitting both Braxton and Gladiator, but Braxton gets up quickly. Not very happy about that, but Sage is going to take care of that by throwing Braxton into the ring. Coronado's back up as he's going to go after El Loco Gladiator. And a nice power and a nice slam right there by Sage. Took a little bit of his momentum, but it looks like he's okay now. Ooh, and a huge backbreaker. And again, that took a lot of energy out of Sage, but here's the pin. One, two, Braxton able to kick out. Coronado going top rope. There's the leg drop into the pin onto Gladiator. One, two, Gladiator able to kick out. Here's a butterfly power ball, uh, butterfly uh, uh, pile driver right on the Braxton. Once again, here's the pin. One, two, Braxton still able to kick out. These four have gotten so used to seeing how the how they all fight that they're trying to figure out what would be the best way to end it. They're going to have to come up with something new since everyone knows their tactics by now. But Braxton, nice reversal, taking some control now. Beautiful hit by Braxton as he takes some control now. And a gut buster right there by Coronado off oh, the Gladiator. Gladiator just hasn't gotten out of the Skidarding Gate that much. Coronado, Sage, and Braxton, they've all gotten out of the gotten out of it pretty quickly. Here's the pin though. One, two, Gladiator still kicks out. Braxton has Sage on his shoulders and snake eyes him right there onto the top of turnbuckle. And here's the pin. One, two, not good enough. Gladiator almost getting the pin on Coronado though. Braxton turning his attention into the pin on Gladiator. One, two, not good enough. Gladiator should not have been looking at the crowd. That's why Braxton was able to run over and try to take some momentum right there. And Coronado messing up what Gladiator was about to do to Braxton. And Braxton doing the same thing now. Coronado going for the pin once again. One, two, Gladiator still fights out. Sage one. Sage has now changed his mind. He's decided to go over to Braxton. As Coronado throws Gladiator over the ropes and punches him down to the ground. And 
Sage on the top rope just kicking Braxton. <laughs> okay. Here we go with a nice Hurricane Rana by Cordado of the Gladiator. Nice reversal by Gladiator as he puts Coronado on the ground. And throwing Coronado back into the ring now. Here we go, Coronado taking control once again. Nice gut buster right there onto Gladiator as he rolls out of the ring. Sage finally able to kick Braxton down. Huge hit right onto Coronado. Everyone is down, but Sage getting up. And the pin on Braxton. One, two. Braxton got a hold of the rope last minute. That was a good job on Braxton's part. Here we go. Gladiator looking to attack Braxton. Here we go with another roll up suplex. One. Two, able to get out of it once again. And Coronado showing off at the fans. Huge German suplex by Gladiator. There's a butterfly power butterfly pile driver once again. Here's the pin on Braxton. This might be it. One, two, three. Braxton has been eliminated from the match. And here we go with another butterfly pile driver onto Coronado now. That might be it for Coronado. Here's the pin. One, two, three. Coronado is out now. It's just the heavyweight and the showdown champion. And Sage has the upper advantage when it comes to pins right now. He's got a lot of momentum built up while Gladiator was getting some momentum built, but it's not as much as Sage has gotten. And here we go. It looks like Sage is ready to go ahead. Try to do some more damage. Throw in Gladiator from the powerbomb position backwards. Beautiful move right there. Sage doing an amazing job. That's taking a lot of energy out of him. Here we go. We've seen this before. Northern Lights Suplex able to cross over without letting go into the Suplex. And Sage has his momentum built up. The crowd is going wild. And Sage is ready to finish it on Gladiator here. And here we go with another Butterfly Pile Driver. Dragon Gladiator close to the middle of the ring. He can't grab the ropes. Here's the pin. One, two, three. Joseph Sage able to pull off the win here tonight against all the other champions, gaining his ninth win. While Neil Braxton gains his seventh loss, a local Gladiator gains his eighth loss. And Hans Coronado gains his eighth loss. This was an amazing match by all four of our contenders. Before we go, let's go look at the news, see what all news we have. See if anything exciting has popped up. But here's your winner, the showdown champion, Joseph Sage. Alright, so we don't have anything very new. We do have rivalry, but... Uh, Apparently Odin and Blanco have something new that is going to be going on, but we'll just have to wait and see because it's about to end for them. This is their last week. I'm not sure who else's last week it is. No, that's got a long while. That's got another month. That's got a few more weeks. That's got a few more weeks. So yeah, this rivalry is about to end. So if you would like to see this one, please let me know down in the comments below. But that's it. We don't have any news whatsoever. So thank you for joining me for, for, for Wednesday Night Clash. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like, subscribe, be a part of the GW Nation, and stay in contact for future videos. And also comment down below what was your favorite match of Wednesday Night Clash. 
I'm probably going to have to go with the Fatal 4-Way. I like that match. I thought it was a great match. If not that one, probably the tag team followed by the triple threats. So thank you again for joining me, and I will see you on Friday Night Frenzy. Peace.